everyone, welcome back to NASCAR The Game Inside Line for the seventh ra or wait, no, eighth race of the chase, sorry, we're off to Texas, let me make sure, yep, eighth race of the chase, because we've got two weeks left to go, we're off to Texas, um, last one was Martinsville, and pretty much dominated the race, almost lost it, because the game decided to do a wall glitch on me, and... I was able to make a comeback and take the win to get my second win of the chase, which so far has been only done on short tracks or a mile under. Let's see if I get one on a mile and a half. We got Phoenix next week, and Phoenix, for when I did my return race, I was really good. So, um, Texas, I'm not entirely sure about because for when I did my only practice race, the tires are good for about 10 laps, and then the car sucks for the rest of the run, so. Looks like, for what we did, for what I did in my test race, we're going to be going on the short run today, so. So I'm, I'm going to be hoping that we get a short run late in the race to hope we get a good, a good stop. And if we get a late race caution with about 10 to go, I'm coming in to get tired, so. And I'm hoping for a solid run. But, I didn't mention this yet, but let's take a look at the points. Um, we have a solid-ass 69-point lead over Jeff Gordon going into Texas, and you never know. And Jimmy Johnson is not that far behind him either. He is 73 back, I'm pretty sure. About 73 or 74 back. I'm, I'm sure someone will correct me, but I'm pretty sure it's either 73 or 74 back. I have a 69-point lead, so I, I have a full race lead. Which is good. I just have a feeling that this is the place where I'm going to lose some points, but not a lot. I just gotta hold everything plays out well. So anyway, uh, as we hit about two minutes of this video, let's jump right into Texas, show you the setup, jump right into qualifying, and hope we get a solid run, hopefully. All right, so here we are here in Texas. Uh, so we're going champion difficulty. We're gonna go 10 minutes of practice. Because, just get, actually we go with 5 minutes, not long. 67 laps, so about 100 miles around this track. Times 1, and pretty much all the same stuff. Now's a good time to get in a few laps and see how the cars are running before qualifying. Alright, so the setup, we're going to show you here. Uh, it's from Mr. Smash Boy once again. Every setup is going to be from him. So let's take a quick look at the setup that we're going to use for the race. Here it is. Um, obviously we're going to hire the grill tip up for qualify, but after that we're going to lower it down to 50 for the race, so, that's the strat. Just quickly running down the setup and what the car is going to be like. Uh, pretty good, pretty good setup. It, the car is really good on the short run, it's just, it's not that good for the long run, so. Anyways, I'm going to run a couple practice laps and then we're going to jump right into qualifying. Alright, let's hope for a solid qualifying run here. Let's hope for a better second lap. Not bad. Going down. Come on, push that pace. One more time. Here we go. Pretty good through one and two. That was beautiful. Now I need hopefully for a better three and four. Not bad second lap, and, and it looks like we're going to start 27th. Not bad. Hey, we're on the bottom. Buddy. I'll take that. Right. I'll, I'll take it. We're on the inside line. Okay. You're going to have to fight your way through the pack on race day, but I know you're ready. I'm ready, but I'm holding to get a better run. All right, let's take a look here, see where Jimmy Johnson's on the pole. That's the obvious one. Jeff Gordon is 18th, so he started bad as well, but Jimmy Johnson's going to be on the pole, so he's going to have that 
Very good trap position, and no surprise, Jimmy Johnson is very good. I think he won here, as far as the fall race is concerned. I think he won in 2012. I think he won the fall race four years in a row, if I believe. From 2012, I don't know if he won in 2011, but he won from 2012 all the way to 2015. He won the fall race. Did he win in 16? I don't think he won in 16. I don't really know. But, I don't think it, I don't know. I've got to look back and see if he won the fall race in Texas. Oh, wait, no. That was, um, that was a short rain delay, if I remember, and Carl Edwards ended up winning it, if I remember. Hopefully, I'm remembering that right. If not, then y'all are going to call me out, so. 27th, not bad. We're on the inside line. Um... Alright, we're going to jump so into the race. Well, I'm going to lower the up. grill tape. Get a couple practice slaps. Get a couple more practice slaps with the lower grill tape. Hopefully I'm confident with it. So, we're just going to lower the grill tape down to 50. Hopefully the car's alright. I might as well have a couple more practice slaps to make sure the car's alright. And we'll jump right into the race. Everyone, and welcome to Texas Motor Speedway in Dallas, Fort Worth. Today's running of the AAA Texas 500. Side Hall of Famer Daryl Waltrip. I'm Mike Joy. Mike, the guys like coming here because Eddie Gossage and his folks, they put on such a great show. A lot of festivities, a lot of things are going around this racetrack, plus an exciting race. Oh, it's pretty spectacular here. You got that right. And the Roush cars seem to have this place figured out. They're the favorites for me. They say everything's bigger in Texas. How big would a win be to your hopes in the championship chase today? All right, here we go here, Texas. Three races left to go at the chase. Jim Johnson on the pole is third in points. Jeff Gordon, 18th. And here we go. All right, we're on the way for the opening race of the chase. Six, seven laps, long way. There's Jeff Gordon, who's second in points. Jimmy Johnson, however, is going to have great trap position because he is the leader. The blessed qualified first, so he's going to have that awesome trap position. Oh, Gordon's going to slide out in front of me. Now, for what I did in practice, the E.I. tend to stall up a little bit off turn four, so that could be a good position. They tend to stack up a lot going to turn one, so going to try to be prepared for that. Try to take advantage of it the best I possibly can. And we are now have Gordon. We're now at the 22nd place. If we let in testing, the AI tend to stall a little bit. Oh, they're, they're stalling a lot up here. Oh, Gordon. Mm. Oh, boy. Okay, we're good right now. Still about 23rd. Gonna have to, got to stack up. But no, I'm gonna ask him a caution. Looks like he, oh yeah, almost a caution, but it looks like we're good for now. Looks like we're going to stay green. Are they true legs try to take 22nd place? And it looks like I will. And remember, the car is so good for only a few laps. After that, it's a struggle. I did not know if they were going to run the bottom or not, or stay on the bottom, so... Probably a mistake, but struggling early, not getting up to the field. Oh, it looks like some cars are already heading down pit road. I don't know why, but it looks like we're already pinned. But not moving up to the field like I was hoping. Because I thought they were going to run the... Oh, we got a first caution. And it was, it was up front. And it was Paul Menard. A blue attire. Um, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stay out and get some trap position. We are 17. Okay, we're on the bottom lane, which is good for me. Paul Menard, he has to pit for rights. He's in last, but I need a trap position because I was not moving up to the field, so I have to come in. Jimmy Johnson still the lead. Jeff Gordon is now 12th. Nice big start here. No passing for start finish line. I have to stay out to gain some spots because I was not moving up to the fields. We go back to racing at Texas Motor Speedway. We are back racing. 
I said I was not moving up to the field like I was hoping. It looks like we're up to 15th. So we're getting another couple spots. I just need to be in the right spot. Oh, God, stole in front of me while he stacked up a little bit. Just not getting in the right spot at the right time. And so that's why I tried to run the bottom and tell him to run the top. To quickly get my gill and to get the position back. Ah, it's not my turn. I'm here. Gill and others oh, stacking up up here again. Because I had to run the very outside to avoid the stack up. Ah, this is not going well. True, going to be stalled. Thankfully, I was able to get a couple spots out of it. Randy, yeah, I tend to stack up going into one, so. Go try to get by my bar. No, caution! Oh, stall! Trying to get in the back of Horny, but we get in there yellow. Good replay, Angle Fox. Oh, it's for Stenhouse, and. Good replay, Angle! Wasn't really focused on one part. Hard hit in the back for Joe Neiman Toad. That's like Darren Watson's crash. Uh, let's see. Looks like we're moving up to the field pretty solidly. I'll see this front guy's pit. Looks like most of them are staying out, so I'll stay out. And we're 10. So first time on the outside line. I kind of want to be on the bottom lane, so hopefully this restart goes well. Jeff Gordon is 12. Jimmy Johnson's still first. That's going to be a little bit rough. And back to racing in Texas! I get to the bottom quick. Gonna slow up Hoyt. Gonna slow up Hoyt a little bit just to get to the inside. Looks like that restart play out perfectly. Just gotta hold the inside line for one corner. Here comes. Oh, Grandpa and Frank Brown was gonna wreck me. In this game, they have no wins. They've got a lost spot. Jeff Gordon is now behind me. Yeah, the AR is so slow. This is where the AR probably gonna slow up off a of four. And. Grandpa. Alright, here's the top 10 spot. Hope I get by Bane as well. Boy, I'm gonna send it very aggressively! Somehow made it work, but he's gonna get the power on the outside. I hope it's gonna stack up a little bit. Mark Lawrence kind of gonna have to protect that inside line just to make sure no one gets a. Oh boy, I had to stack up in front of me! Not the previous! Boy, I have to stack up. Mark's gonna stack up a little bit. That's gonna give me another advantage. For ninth place. Mm. All right, we're up to ninth. Let's hope I can make up at least a few more points. Yeah, the tires are falling off quick. Ah, oh, Grandpa! Jeff Gordon's right behind me. I cannot avoid to lose a lot of spots. Gonna somehow get behind Mark Morin here. To not lose spots to Gorin. And right now, yeah, this is where the tire's gonna start falling off. It's like, after 12 laps, the tires fall off quick after 12 laps. So we're probably gonna have to stop one. This yeah, the car is so bad, it does not want to turn. So. The sky hold the bottom leg as the car is not good. But all I got hold for now is hope I get another yellow and I can pit, so... But for now, it looks like we're gonna have to relax for a bit. I can't get to the bottom of the time to block but he's probably gonna swap off the floor. And he doesn't! Oh, he did! Okay. Alright, we're gonna get, get, get back by him. Right now, I just gotta hold for another yellow just so I can make another pit stop. It's just after 12 laps, the car tends to suck. Right now, I just gotta try my absolute best just to stay on the bottom because the air really good in three and four is just one and two on my strengths. Well, turn one is my strength because they slow up. They slow way up. Looks like going stalled a little bit behind me. It's just, I have a feeling I'm probably gonna struggle on the long run, but the car is really good on the short run. So I got, it looks like the pin early, I'm staying out until we get a yellow. Another car in the wall up there. I almost thought Grandpa was going to head that pit, but it's kind of early to pit. I don't know why, I think it's probably the bat markers are pinned so early. 
And there they are. So, we're 20 laps in, or we're on lap 20. Wow, you just closed it. And it looks like, I don't know what's going on with the cars up front. It looks like we're closing in, unless they keep hitting the wall, but just trying to maintain. It looks like we're pulling away from Gordon a little bit. So, it looks like we're probably going to relax. Caution is out, so we get our third caution of the race, which is nice. So that way I can come in and get my tires. And Austin Dilly Greg Bethel collide. Think we got yellow and a couple other cars. Yes, I'm coming in and get tires. I am coming in. It looks like a lot of other, looks like most of the front cars are coming in and get four tires. Here we go, four tires of fuel. And we're not gonna repair the car, looks like. New adjustments, just four tires of fuel. Alright, here we go, four tires going on the car. First stop of the race, we're gonna have to make another stop by the end of this. Just depends on how, how long the yellows keep flying out. But looks like we can stay out, we can run pretty well with the guys up front since now we got a yellow. This will shake things up, and we're gonna get back going. And we're gonna have to see where we cycle out. Probably the same. Oh, we're gonna lose a couple spots because Michael Roots is the leader, and we are 18th. Jeff Gordon is 20th, and Jimmy Johnson was second out of the pits. Brad took right side tires. Jimmy Johnson is nice. So here we go on the restart. That was our fastest stop today. Awesome work. We're 18th. Okay, go get him, man. We're still one of the fastest cars out there. And back to racing in Texas! 18th is where we're at right now. Got to slow up that bottom lane a little bit just so I get to the bottom lane. Gonna change it back to the original. There we go, change it back. Got it. We got a couple cars up here that didn't paint yet, so maybe there is an advantage I can get a few spots before the tires fall off again. I just gotta be in the right position this time. Yeah, these guys are slow, and again, there's a couple guys that didn't pit that stay out. Gonna lay up a little bit just so I can get a perfect line. Run right the outside like that, I gain at least a spot, and I do, barely. They that played out perfectly where I could gain a spot. Like I said, the air gonna stack up going to the first corner, so that's gonna be my advantage. Pretty much all race long. So, gotta try to play this out where I can just rule the outside, gain a few spots. Looks like a couple cars are pitting. Stay, stay down there, please. Just squeeze it! Oh, jeez, that was high! I don't know how I made that work, but that was perfect. I don't know how I made that outside pass work. I'll oh, squeeze it on the outside. I don't know how I made that outside pass work. So I take advantage of these four tires with three wide. Brand milk and let them know I'm here. Gonna squeeze the caution again. Alright, this was behind us. Oh, I get the wall, gets that wall glitch. How the guy do I think Gillen or Reagan? They both have similar cars. Oh, we're gonna stay out. And we are now six, so. Uh, oh, Michael Roots pitted. He is 30th. And we're 6th, so we're now in good position. But we still got a long way to go. And back to racing in Texas! Gotta get to the inside fast. I can't get down. Gonna have to deal with the outside line a little bit. So I slow up, Brad. Can't get there! Oh, Horde gets in the back of me! I somehow kept it going! That's gonna be a yellow! Barely missed out on that one! Don got trying to get far away, I get turned, but somehow it was right on kind of saved me! Reagan flies in the air! I almost got the one up there, I almost got collided by Newman and Horny! And we're eighth! Alright, perfect! We're gonna stay out because there's no need to pit. And we're still sixth. Not bad. Let's hope I get to the bottom quick this time. Oh, I'm gonna have one F on my inside. 
and we're pretty much past halfway. And back to racing in Texas! Gonna try to get to the bottom quick. Gonna try to slow up Boyer just to get to the bottom. Alright, not bad. Was able to get to the bottom quick this time. And yeah, 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 it looks like a top six that pulled away from me, but if I can close back in in turn three, I can maybe gain a lot of time going into turn one, so. Looks well, so like right now, as far as the big support, this is playing out the way I want. Oh, that in the wall behind me. Yeah, because I didn't gain a shit ton of time going into the first quarter just like that. I'm able to gain a lot of time. Pretty much back on Brad and everybody else. It says what's up behind the car tends to stall. And it gets like arrow tight. But right now we're handling a solid top 10. If I can stay up here, it's gonna be some decent points because Jimmy Johnson is probably gonna run well because he's up in second, I believe. Um I don't know. Is that him in second? Yes, that's him in second, so. As long as I don't lose a lot of points to Jimmy. Because Jimmy's like four points behind Jeff Gordon also. And as far as I know, Gordon is not up here. No, he's not. So, uh, it's just cannot stay behind Brad or complete behind Brad. Unless, of course, we get arrow tight. Right, we should be able to get by Brad, hopefully, going in the first corner. And he's going to stall. We're barely going to get by Brad. So, now we're up to six. We somehow got by Brad. Yes, like I said, they're gonna slow up going to the first corner. That's gonna be one of our advantages all race. Boy, it tends to slow up. We're trying to stay on the bottom lane. It's just the car is so good out there a few laps. After that, it stalls. So, we're gonna have to pin on the caution. I don't know if we can pin on the green flag, because if we do, we're gonna lose a lot of spots. I gotta stop hating here because that happens also, so... That's pretty much the big British report. I don't know if I have one, to be honest. I mean, you can basically look at this race and find out what the big British report's gonna be, and Brad is pretty much getting all that time back, but... Right now, we're holding on to six, and... I don't know if it's gonna go away. If it does, it's gonna be decent points for it. Just gotta hope again get another yellow, and I can at least come in one more time to get some tires on this car, but... Looks like we're going to relax for a little bit. Oh, Brad to the inside, trying to change cams. Edwards, he almost turns me, but... Got the 20 to go on, boy, in Texas. Um, cars are doing all right, and there you see them stalling, but the problem is that changed cams for the 20 to go on. Sometimes it's a struggle, and once you change cams, it's different surroundings, but... Yeah, like I said, guys, after a couple laps, the car sucks after a couple laps. It's like, you gotta get used to something new all over again, when the car just sucks after about 10 laps. And, let's get back to the original can that I know. So that's 20 over. The right front is going down quick. There it is. There are the um, right sides. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to pin the next. Hopefully, we get yellow within the next seven-ish laps. Because I think at the rave, it looks like we get a pretty comfortable gap. So, and we're just gonna get by me on the bottom. Well, like I said, the engine is still a little bit off of four, but oh uh, yeah, the car just slides. But like I said, it's gonna stall going to turn one. That's gonna help. And there's that stall that I mentioned going to the first corner. Yeah, just right now, guys, I'm going to hold on. Hopefully, we'll get a yellow within the next seven laps. So, I'll get ten laps, because that's enough laps for our car to last. Our car can last for about seven laps, or ten-ish laps. That's how long our car can last, so. Well, so, we're going to relax for about God knows how long. Hopefully, we get hopefully we get that yellow. That's all I got to say. Hope we get it. Uh, on the bond, it's time to mess up turn three. Yeah, I'm just struggling right now, but yeah, we got about a three and a half, three about three seconds to get to go. We'll see if we can get by Edwards are going to the first corner. And it looks like we will barely. Just gotta hold the bond lane. It looks like we're able to get back by Carl. 
Skyhole on three and four. I think we'll be in a good position. Going to try to hope he runs to the top here. And he does it. So just got to hold the bottom lane here. I think we'll be in a good spot. He's going to probably run into the wall here. He does it. So, yeah, we're barely hanging on. Just got to hope that I get that yellow that I want. I just got to hope. Because I do not want to pay for tires on a late race, caught on, on a late race, or late in the race, I should say, on the green. Just kind of hope to get that Mark yellow just back. so I can pay and get those tires. Because right now, I'm in a phase, yeah, I'm just losing time, but right now we're in a phase where the car can last a little on tires. Yeah, and there it is! There's the yellow! Exactly what I wanted! Right now we're in good position to make it to the on tires. And it's for Ambrose who spins on the back stretch. He just gets in the wall, collides with Castle. And another big wreck collides. Jeff Gordon was involved, but thankfully Yell came out. We're definitely coming in. And it's in a perfect spot to where the tires can last. So this pretty much played out how I wanted to play out. Yep, everybody's coming in. We're getting four tires. No question about it, we're getting four tires. I filled up with fuel. And it uh, looks like everything's good, so four tires filled. Might as well repair the car, and that's what we're gonna do. And here we go for the money stop. Last stop of the race. Hopefully, this is the money stop. Need a solid stop here. Well, we're probably going to lose a few spots because we had to pair the car to make such a good shape, and we're probably going to lose a couple, but not too bad. And five cars stayed out, and we're going to be 14th. So we lost a couple spots exiting the pitch. We lost about two. And yeah, here we go. Final stint of the race. Right about 11 laps. You're doing great, buddy. That pitch going to make all the difference. That's exactly what I need. And... Back to green, Texas, with 11 to go. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, I thought it was going to be clear, but not. They tend to show up on the last second, so right now we're in very good position. A couple cars stayed out, so that might come into factor here as this race goes on. Going to try to hold the bottom lane. Alright, let's see if I can. Alright, this guy, I'm gonna slow up a little and make sure I can make that outside pass that I made early in the race that I somehow made work. Here we go again! Pass on the top! Oh, sorry, I forgot to back a point! Let's try and make something happen on, on the top! I see Jimmy Johnson here again! Jimmy Johnson is throwing points! Ah, oh, boy, he stalls again! Stall me! And we're gonna get in the spot! Hopefully Gil leaves the top. Ah, he's not giving me room! Damn it! He didn't give me room on the outside! Thankfully we're gonna squeeze in! Gotta try to make that top work. Ah, not gonna make it work when Mears is on the top. Sorry, Jimmy! He stole in front of me! I need to stop being on the outside. But I need to be on the top because I know they're going to stall going to three. So I had to be on the top. Gotta somehow make this outside work. Can let Boy, I know that I'm here! Jimmy Johnson in the wall! Alright, we're going to go to the bottom here. We're going to learn a lesson. We're gonna squeeze it! Hamlet decided to block me! Um, yeah, I need to do that, but we gained a couple spots. We're up to 11th now. Okay, okay, Jimmy Johnson in the top 10. Hamlet's gonna slow a little bit, but we gained a few spots. Holy Gill doesn't kill me like he did last time. We're just gonna let him know. Somebody's pinning! 
Caution! I like for a tire, right? Okay, she came! Wait, what? Oh, so I blew a tire. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see, how's the car? Car's good, we're staying out. No need to, no need. Alright, we're eighth. Jimmy Johnson is seventh. Gordon is 29, so he's gonna lose more points. Depends if he gains a couple, but Jimmy Johnson is the main guy we gotta worry about. Here we go! Alright, we got four to go. Just gotta get as many spots as possible here. So we got eight laps to go, Texas! Get to the bottom lane. There we go. Exactly what I need. Get to the inside. Warriors coming on the top. We gotta block it, but Bernard's gonna come on the bottom. Gotta try to slow that bottom lane up. Alright, we're gonna try to get by Bernard on the top. Not what I want, but we're gonna be in good shape going to the first corner. And Menard's gonna stab it, that's gonna help me out! We got three to go, caution! Alright, we're gonna have an overtime finish! Oh boy! Alright, we're gonna have what a first overtime finish since Um since what? The second chase race, if I remember? Oh, jeez, I'm still in flying, but... Yeah, we're gonna have a first summertime finish as well. We're definitely staying out. And we're gonna be eighth, so... We got Sam Hornish and Stenhouse up there. Jimmy Johnson is fifth, I'm eighth, and Gordon is 22nd. So we gained a couple spots during that little stint, but... All right, overtime finish here in Texas. Here we go. Three white checkers, more to go. Two laps. We get back to the white flag, the race is over, and green flag of Texas! And again, we only get three attempts. Go try to get to the bottom lane fast, perfect! I got a couple opportunities to try to make up some spots. I'm trying to get as many as I can. And then we only get two laps. And they ranked again before we hit the one, we're gonna have to go again. We're gonna get to the outside of the street and we're gonna make the pass! And one lap to go! Sam Horse Jr., the leader! We are up to fourth! So, right, pretty good run! We might have a chance to win this! We'll see, but I don't know! Jimmy Johnson going for Sanders with down the back stretch! Sam Hornish might be in position to steal this! And it looks like he will! Oh, but turn four! Sam Hornish is gonna steal the win of Texas! I'm gonna bring it on fourth, not bad! Done, man. A, a top five finish! I'll take it though! Top five run! Solid top five again, that helps your points a lot. <laughs> wow, I get a lot I lose points to Jimmy, but we gained a couple. Alright, let's take a look at the results here before I have to get a thumbnail for this. So Sam Hornish Jr. steals the win away from Jimmy Johnson, who has the fastest lap. Brad Kozlowski second, Iron Love fourth, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. fifth, Eric Almirola sixth, David Strayer with a solid run seventh, and Paul Menard eighth, Carl Edwards ninth, and Brian Newman rounds at the top ten. Case, uh, Kamikaze eleventh, sorry, uh, Mark Martin twelfth, Quit Boyer thirteenth, Dan and Patrick fourteenth, David Strayer fifteenth, Giggle sixteenth, Greg Biffle 17th, Martin Trick Jr. 19th, and Kyle Bush rounds at the top 20. Travis Squabble 21st, uh, let's see, Charbane 25th, Jeff Byrne 26th, Kevin Harvard 28th, Case Skate 29th, Jeff Gordon falls to 30th, that's going to be more points he's going to lose, so he lost points. Jimmy Johns is definitely going to be second in points now, that's for sure. Michael McDowell 11th, um, let's see, uh, Tony Stewart 34th, Matt Kenza 35th, what if 36, Danny Hamlin 37th, Michael Brutes 38th, and Joe Nemechek rounds at the top 40. And Bobby Devine, Robbie Gorin, Austin Dillon rounds up the field. All right, now let's check the points. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the gap here, and surprisingly, it's still the same. 69 points, or a solid-ass 69 points, 
over now Jimmy Johnson, who's took second away from Gordon. Gordon has lost two spots. He's now fourth. So right now it's a battle between me and Jimmy Johnson for the title, but looks like right now I'm in a very comfortable position going into the last couple races. Just got to try to finish. I tried to lose a lot of points. Brad Kozlowski now fifth. And Sam Hornish who ended up winning the 16th. And we got two races left to go, so you never know, guys. <laughs> You never know, it's still 69 points between me and Jimmy Johnson. And yeah, it looks like pretty much it's going to be between me and Jimmy Johnson, but it looks like right now I have a good position. And it's about 100 points, pretty much 100 points separating the top five. So, there you go. Um, clear the calculator. And yeah, guys, uh, as we look at the schedule here, there you go, that's it, Phoenix and Homestead. Two races left to go of the chase and season. So yeah, we got a long way to go before we decide who's the champion. Looks like right now it's me, it's just out of a comfortable point lead, but you never know if it's gonna be official or not, fellas. So yeah, that was a long race at Texas, about 40 minutes or so, but for you guys it'll be short because it's going to be the edited version that y'all are going to see. So, my video show in the bottom right corner. So, thank, thank them for editing out my video. Help me edit out my videos. It really means a lot. But, um, I, don't know, I, don't know what, I don't know what I'll do without them. So, anyway guys, so that's going to do it for me today. Next week we're off to Phoenix. A good trap for me. This was a tr honestly, this was a chart that I was worried about based on what I did in testing, but luckily it played out perfectly. Got a late race yellow. Where I want one. Cause like I said guys, in this chart the tires can last only a few laps. So thankfully we got that late race yellow. Thankfully we got a couple more to make it a little more interesting. And somehow I ended up with the top five. Did not think I was gonna get a top five run, but we did, so. That's better than what I expected. I was expected somewhere top 10, top 15 when I was running the whole race. But luckily we were able to get a good result and managed to stay within strike and distance. And yeah, not bad at all. So we're going to end it there. I'll see you all next week at Phoenix. Getting down to crunch time before we go on to Heat 4. Because that's going to be the next Chase Let's Play. So after that, I don't know. Because I'm going to get a full-time job hopefully soon. So... So we might not get a lot of live streams that I expected. But anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching today's race. It was really exciting from start to finish, I believe, so as a, as a player. But next week we're out to Phoenix, and I did a test race. I did a 100% race here, so it looks like we're going to have a pretty good car as well. So anyways, I'll see you all next week at Phoenix. And as always, have a good day, everyone, and take care.